This Blender tutorial is brought to you by the game AFL Podcast with Duff and Quarters and Josh. Well, I'm not actually being sponsored by them, but I might get a free drink or two. Links in the description. Today, we're going to make a super simple cloud. Um, we're not going to use any complicated nodes or anything like that. We're going to use one of the newer features of Blender um, to create a volume out of a mesh. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is delete the cube and delete this light. We can keep the camera. Shift A, mesh. Uh, let's put in an icosphere. Tab to edit. And what I'm going to do is just get underneath it. And I'm going to select the bottom of it. And then I'm going to go S to scale. Just to kind of make a little domey shape like that because um, that's how I imagine clouds. And then what I'm going to do is, before that, I'm going to click on the X-ray button so I can select all the vertices and edges and faces. And then I'm going to go Shift D to duplicate. And I'm going to put it maybe out there somewhere. S to scale. Something like that. And then I'm going to go Shift A for another icosphere. G to move. And I'm going to push it all the way out like here. And then S to scale. And then I'm going to G to move that back in a bit. Okay, I might. That's all right. Uh, so it doesn't have to be too precise here. We're going to displace a lot of this anyway. Uh, tab to get out of edit mode, back into object mode. Now what we're going to do is put a, um, a modifier on, so control one uh, to put a subdivision on, um, control two. We'll also do that to do more, but we don't need that. I'm just gonna do control one uh, to put that on. Then what we're gonna do next is go shift A. Uh, and go down to volume empty and up here you'll see we have a volume on here what we're going to do is click add modifier and we're going to add these two modifiers so mesh to volume and volume displacement so on the mesh to volume we are going to click this button here which then we can pick this which will give us a cloudy type thing. Um, then what we're going to do here under volume displace is we're going to say new texture and then we're going to go down to the texture and we're going to select clouds. Now uh, what we're going to do is hide this and we're going to add the render filter on as well so we don't render it and now you can see we can start to see we've got something of a cloud doesn't look very good at the moment uh, so what we can do here is the type of cloud you want um, is defined by some of these settings so what I want is a kind of like a stylized cloud so I'm gonna actually gonna make this hard and I'm going to make the size a bit bigger Something like that. One. Let's just round it to one. That should be fine. Come back to the modifiers. Uh, density. Let's make that five. So the dense. This is the density of the volume. The higher the density, the thicker it will be. Um, and then you've got the strength of the displacement. Um, let's try one. Okay, uh, and now let's have a look at what else we need to do. So right now it's not very looking very good um, and that's because of the lighting and some of the render settings. So let's jump over to render settings first and go down to volumetrics. So we're using EV, you can go into cycles um, and that will make things better or worse depending on what you like. But I like to keep trying to keep things in Eevee just because uh, I don't have a 
top of the range graphics card. Um, so let's keep it in EV. First thing we want to do is change this to the tile size to four uh, and bump up the samples to 256. Uh, what you can do is on your final render, change that to two to get an even better view or a better look. We want to tick this for volume, uh, volumetric shade shadows. Um, otherwise, that won't render by default. And then we want to go to 156. Uh, 128 is the highest. Yes, that's right. So 128 for the volumetric shadows. Um, and then from there, we need to put in some lighting. So in here, I am going to say shift a and i am going to say light area g let's move it up and what we also need to do is go to render mode because otherwise we're not going to be able to see anything so we can see that's starting to have a little bit of effect i'm going to make this area like bigger i'm going to move it to an angle say up here and I'm going to increase the power to, I don't know, a thousand. There we go. So I'll take this and put a bit of an angle like that. And we can see we're starting to get some of the lighting. Uh, what I'm going to do is do a two point lighting. So I'm going to go Shift D and place it over here go right down like this now it's not very good so i'm going to do is bring this down across i've just made that massive over here a little bit Something like that. Cool. Now, what I want to do is opening up our shading tab and put that to there. Uh, and then what we can say is new material. What you will see is uh, and notice is that by default, it gives us a principal volume. Uh, we can put that up to give us a bit more of a white type of cloud. Um, and we can also see what this looks like on the camera. not looking very cloudy. What am I missing? Okay, so after a little while, I remembered what it was that I needed to do, and it was uh, this density setting here. So what that'll do is obviously set up the density for the principled volume. Um, but uh, one thing you want to do is probably just increase the intensity of your lights. Uh, I've got that set to, for this particular light, I've got it set to about 5,000 watts. But uh, yeah, you guys can play around and you'll find out the, your uh, your pref preference. Um, so what I find is once I do that, then I can increase this to around 2.5. And then that starts to give you uh, that sort of... Um, the shadowy and the actual uh, volume look to the cloud. Um, you can maybe even put it up a touch, maybe three. Yeah, it's, what happens if you go a bit higher? That starts to look like a bit of a storm cloud, which I don't want. So let's just put it back to the three. That seems okay. Cool. Uh, then well, let's put it down to 2.5 actually. Then what you can do then is just go into world and we can add a simple, let's go zero to get the camera angle. Uh, and what we can do is start to set up a 
background. So you can either just set a solid, which is fine, or you can just put in a simple gradient even. So let's go texture coordinates. Sorry, I had an interruption from a family member. Let's uh, get back to it. Uh, texture coordinate. Uh, then we want to put in a mapping. If you have road node wrangler, you can just press control T, but I like to show this individually. Generated goes into vector. Shift A, search. Uh, what do we need? We need a... We need a texture gradient. And a color ramp. Color ramp. Uh, what am I missing? Blue and move this something like that. make this a very subtle F12 and there we go a cloud in the sky um, if you enjoyed it subscribe like uh, hit the notification button uh, I'll see you next time bye